Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Ace Attorney Spirit of Justice. Wakey, wakey, 201. Got some more questions. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sound the alarm! Prisoner 201's escaped! Well, you know, with Dad's back on the streets, things will be on the up and up for us. Keep your voice down. You want that rebel hunter to find us or something? Come on. We're small fries compared to... Huh? Oh, my God. Whoa, that was cool. Did they die? Oh, they was probably killed. Well, rip to whoever those people were. Sorry. Okay. Oh, here we are. We're back at the temple, hey? May 9th. Okay, so... May 9th. So a couple of weeks have passed, I guess, since Phoenix first arrived here, I think? That was in April, I believe. Oh, another fine day in the kingdom of Kurain. Phoenix, I cannot fucking believe that you stayed here after what happened last- I get that you want to see Maya and everything, but come on, man. Man, this place sucks, and all the people that came out of it suck. It's so peaceful here. I can't believe it's been two weeks already, but... This place is really starting to grow on me. Yeah, now that they're not, like, trying to persecute you. Still... Seems like there's a lot of trouble here, no matter what. I mean, if that opening cutscene was anything to go by. Also, all of this, I, I, like, it wasn't this, like, enough of a... A traumatic experience to make you not want to stay here? I don't know. It would have been for me, though. Surely. I would have written that letter to Maya and been like, Hey, girl. Yeah, I'm not staying here. When you're done, come find me. <laughs> oh, shit. It was a rough start, wasn't it, Phoenix? Jeez. I mean, rough isn't even the way to put it. I'd use stronger words, probably, if it were me. Now, to do what I came here to do. To see Maya. Wait, it's been two weeks since the trial? You ain't seen her? What the fuck did you have to do? Did you have to sign some paperwork or something? Oh, her training's finally ending. Okay, so it, it hadn't ended before. But before she does, she said something about one last rite she has to perform today. Okay. Who's that? Is that my friend, Alby? Hey, friend, how are you? Oh, and a little puppy, too. I'm so glad to see you. Hapuraki! Hey, Alby. Hapuraki. Oh, you've mastered the traditional greeting of Kurain! I don't know about that, but I guess all that practicing is paying off. Have you gotten used to life at the temple? I'm grateful they're letting me stay here, but the mornings start a little too early for me. Wait, Phoenix! You didn't even stay at a hotel? You're staying here? What is wrong with him? <laughs> like, I get it, but like... But, uh, <laughs> yeah, well, morning prayers do begin at dawn. Forget that. Get me the get me the Marriott. Get me a Hilton. I don't think so, sir. After all, you can never pray too much. Daily devotion is very important here in Kurain. Hats off to you guys. I don't know how you do it. And today is a special day, full of even more prayer than usual. My favorite. There's nothing better in this world than being able to pray to your heart's content. I can think of a few things I'd rather do. Yes, me too, yes. So what makes today so special, anyway? You mean you don't know? Today's the purification rite. It's only performed once a year. That's what Maya must have been talking about on the phone yesterday. I wonder what her role in it is. So what exactly is Maya going to be doing for this purification rite? What? Didn't she tell you? She's playing the role of Lady Kira. It's the only the most important part of the entire rite. It's unprecedented to have a foreigner play such a key role. Wow, that's really something. It really is. Helping out such an amazing person has been the greatest honor of this humble tour guide's life. So, who is this Lady Kira you mentioned? Allow me to explain. Once upon a time, hundreds upon hundreds of years ago, there lived a female warrior who fought valiantly to establish the kingdom and let me st oh, let me stop you right there. Is something wrong? No, it's just I get the feeling I'm in for a really long story. Well, yeah, I, I'd say it normally takes around two hours to Sir, I don't have that kind of time. What? 
Whoa, dodged a bullet there. Can you give me the TLDR? Oh, right, you're supposed to finally see Miss Maya today. I can't wait, honestly. I'm very excited for that. I'm looking forward to it a lot. The story can wait, then. In the meantime, you can read up on the right with this. An English guidebook? Where did you dig this up from? I found it just laying there in the temple library. I figured no one's using it, so I borrowed it. Huh? Hey, this book belongs to Maya. See, there's her name on the back. Guess there's no harm in keeping this for a while, then. Rights Guide added. A guide to Kiranese rights written for tourists. All right. Wonder how Maya's book got there. Miss Maya should already be at the site where the rite is to take place. Let's go to the Plaza of Devotion. I'm sure none of this will go wrong at all. Not even a little. Mm-hmm. I wonder if Maya's matured any since I last saw her. Wait, shit, how long has it been again since he's seen her? It's a couple of years at least, right? It's on a mountaintop, so it might get a little cold, though. Listen, we've been up on temples and mountains before. That's happened. I think I can handle it. All right, let's go. All right, cool. Uh, is there anything we should talk to him about before we go? Oh, it's just the any idea stuff. Well, there have been a lot more tourists this year than last. Then your tour guide business must be booming. It is. But I have more important things to do right now, namely helping you, Mr. Wright. He's our biggest fan now. Look at this. It's so cute. I think I'll tip him a little extra for his help later. Oh, Phoenix, that would be nice to do. Let's head over to where the purification rite will be held. What sort of rite is it? Uh, well, we'd, we'd wind up missing a whole day of the rite if I were to explain it. In that case, I think I'll just go see it for myself. Yeah, let's go. All right, just wanted to make sure. Uh, hey, I know I probably did this before, but now that you have a whole new outlook on how cool I am, what do you think of this? Look at this badge. Wow, what a beautiful badge. It's the attorney's badge we use in my country. It kind of looks like a sunflower to me. It does a little bit. Yep, and I'm pretty sure there's even a reason for it. <gasps> Please explain, Mr. Wright. M uh, maybe next time. I should have known he'd ask me to explain. He loves to hear all the stories. Right, okay, let's, let's move it. Plaza of Devotion. Oh, I can't wait to see Maya, though. Oh, God, okay, I can see everyone's butts. That's fine. It's a prayer. It's not disgusting. This is how it looks. No big deal. I just walked in on a very strange angle. That's all. Here it is. Oh, wow, we really are up here. Ooh. Oh, it is so cold. It's like the air itself is made of ice. Look at all these people, like, don't even look like they're wearing coats or anything. But look at all these people. Well, this is the day we come to offer prayers to Lady Kira, the protector of our land. It's amazing to see how devoted everyone is. Devoted? Right. But couldn't they just as easily do all this praying someplace warmer? Probably not. This too is a part of our religious training. It helps us build strength of spirit and willpower. Further up, at the end of those stairs, is the inner sanctum. For some reason I'm getting, I don't know why, it has nothing to do with anything, but I'm getting major like Final Fantasy X vibes off of this. Don't ask why there really wasn't a place like this there. Well, a little bit, but not really. Maybe I just have it on the brain. I see. Everyone I've met so far seems deeply religious. Well, you probably have to be to live in a place like this. Of course we are. After all, Kurain is also the land of prayer. It's said that we Kurainese spend an average of 15 hours a day in prayer. How the fuck do you people work? What? 15? How do they do anything? What? From the moment we wake to the moment we fall asleep, our hearts are already in prayer. You see all the square flags around here? They're known as prayer flags. Yeah, I've seen those before. We have those too. Like, you know, those are around. They contain the prayers of our people. Oh, he's talking about these colorful strips of cloth. There's something written on each one. Such piety is the glory of our people and... I I'm afraid that story's gonna have to wait for another time, Albie. Maya should be here any minute. Oh, I can't wait. Oh yeah, you're right. I can't wait to see Maya again. Jesus Christ, what was the last game we even saw her in? Because like, she was still kind of like a youngster. Well, not a youngster, but young. The last time we seen her, she's gonna be a full-grown lady now. 
Oh my god. Ugh. Oh man. Pardon me, O noble traveler. Who's that? <clears throat> Hello? How do you fare, Mr. Wright? It's been many a day. Is that her? Uh, and uh, who might you be? Stop! M Maya? No fucking way! Look at her! Miss Maya! Epic par- <laughs> Hakuna Matata! Maya, oh my god, look at you! Hapakari, Albi. And you, Mr. Wright. May the Holy Mother guide you on your journey. Holy crap, Maya looks so grown. Oh, uh, thanks. Yay! <laughs> Long time no see, Nick. Maya! Her music! Hooray! And her pose and everything! Oh my gosh, she looks so wonderful. Well, well, did I surprise you with my act? Yeah, you can say that again. It's still the same, Maya. I was like, oh no, did she turn like totally ladylike and shit? I'm gonna have to change her voice. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> she looks great. This is Maya Fay. She's a spirit medium from Kurain Village back home. Oh no, the regular Kurain. She was also my assistant for quite some time. But that was many years ago. Her ability to channel spirits saved me more times than I can count. It's true. I sure miss those days. I miss it too. It was a ton of fun being the real boss of Wright and Kola offices. Now she's here, training to be the leader of Kurain Village and the master of her craft. Apparently to become the master of Kurain channeling technique, you have to train here in Kurain, or Kurain, since this is where the technique originated. That makes sense. Didn't it sound, didn't I just sound like a pious nun when you saw me just now? Too bad, that's about all I learned from all the training I did. Oops. Haha, <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. I knew she wouldn't. Huh? And what's that supposed to mean? She may look a little more mature on the outside, but inside, she's the same old Maya. I'm so excited I get to do the same voice for her. I'm actually kind of glad. Me too. I didn't want her to change too much, honestly. We can't have that. Girl, before I start anything, I need to show you something I ain't shown you in a long time. Look at this badge. Oh, hey. Congrats on getting your badge back, Nick. Thanks, Maya. Now you can go back to a life of bold-facingly bluffing the day away every day. That's, uh, not exactly why I returned to the courtroom, you know. No, but that's what we still do. It's not like she's wrong. She knew. All right, fine. All right, Maya, tell me how you're doing. Tell me everything. I want to hear it all. I heard what happened, Nick. You ended up in court almost as soon as you got off the plane, huh? Yeah, well, it's kind of a long story. I was the accused. You should have seen Mr. Wright in action. He was amazing. <laughs> huh. Well, I bet it was another one of your famous seat of your pants come from behind winds, huh? Whoa! Hang on. Before we do, wait, hang on. Okay, she's old enough. Whoa! Oh my God, she's 28 already. <laughs> Jeez. I'm turning to dust. Maya, how could you be so old? She's not 28. Is not old, guys. I mean, just because we remember being here such a young lady in the beginning of these of these games. We've been through so much. Oh boy. Okay. Well, I expect to see that screenshot later. Well, I, I was almost found guilty any number of times. Okay, so it wasn't my finest hour. Sue me. You haven't changed a bit either, Nick. Ow. It definitely stings more when it's coming from her. Why? I don't think you have to change, Phoenix. So, I guess you finished the bulk of the training needed to become the master, right? Oh, you mean the special meditation course for increasing spiritual power? Wait, that's what it's called? But it sounds like an MLM scheme. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, I've completed the full two years. I can finally go home once I perform the purification rite today. Oh no, that means something's gonna happen. Something's gonna happen. Actually, I was wondering why they're having a foreigner conduct one of their sacred rites. Well, the high priest's wife usually conducts it each year. But with her baby on the way, it's just more than she could handle. So the high priest practically begged me to stand in for her this year. 
Well, you may not know all of their customs, but with your training, I'm sure you'll do great. You bet. Just you watch, Nick. I'm gonna be the best Lady Kira, guardian deity ever. I'd better throw in a few prayers for things to not end in a flaming disaster. Something tells me that's not gonna help. We know how these go. Guardian deity, maybe she can tell us a little bit about it. You know, the abridged version. So about that guardian deity you'll be portraying today. What exactly are we talking about here? Well, first of all, Lady Kira isn't really a deity in the way that we think of them back home. Oh, shit, the music's getting epic. And then it stopped. Good, I love that for us. She's a real person who fought to establish the kingdom of Kurain a long, long time ago. Hang on a second, doesn't that look familiar? Didn't we see that in the opening cutscene? That, that bit right there with the gold mask and all. Wow, she actually existed? It's like one of those real things gone legend. And now the kingdom's people worship her as a guardian deity. They believe she appeared to protect the kingdom whenever it's in danger. Cool. Cloaked in a sacred robe, she's a champion of justice who defeats the kingdom's enemies. That sounds like something you'd be into. I know, right? Who wouldn't want to be a kick-butt warrior who takes on evil with a wicked dagger? No, she's, she's right. Right. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat. Nick, don't act like you don't like that shit, dude. Man, we've seen it. Still, Lady Kira must be a popular deity if all these people are here for her. Yeah, but there's more to it than just her popularity this year. There's more? What more is there? The right's popularity. Okay, tell me about that. So, why is this right attracting such a large crowd this year? This year? Because there's actual sightings, you know, of the real deal. Well, surely she's not living anymore if she was living, is she? Allow me to explain. A mysterious figure clad in Lady Kira's robes appeared just like in the legends. And she began capturing members of the Defiant Dragons right and left. You're kidding, right? They say it's only a matter of time until she gets their leader, the revolutionary Dirk, too. Oh, right, Dirk Diggler. We heard about him in the beginning. Whoever he is, I don't know. Dirk Diggler. Uh, but that, that fucking joke is so old and nobody's gonna know it. Oh, I'm gonna keep saying it, though. So Lady Kira's a rebel hunter now? It's a bit hard to swallow, though. Oh. <laughs> I mean, even if they are trying to disrupt the peace. I doubt the actions of a band of rebels can bring a legendary figure back to life. Well, I mean, sure, at least, of course, it's not her. We have to figure out who it is, I bet. I didn't believe it at first, either. But there's a real picture of her on the front page of today's paper. Oh, look at that. Sure enough. Sightings of her go back about two years. But this is the first actual picture of her ever to be taken. I can't believe someone was able to actually capture her on film. But couldn't this just be some Lady Kira fan? Y you know, like you, Maya. You mean like a cosplayer? Those rebels are no joke. They're trained in hand-to-hand -hand combat and stuff. You think some regular cosplayer can take on people like that dressed in a costume alone? No, I guess not. That's why she has to be the real deal. It gives me chills just thinking about it. Oh wow, she's really into it. I bet Lady Kira's spirit possessed the sacred robe or something. A spirit possessing a piece of clothing? Uh, Maybe you should cut back on all those action superhero shows. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You're just jealous that I'm still young at heart. No, girl, I, I feel you. I love it. I've got a real office to run now, so I gotta keep it real, right? I don't know who you're talking about, but that's definitely not me. Oh, you really lost your edge since I last saw you. Did he really have an edge before? Well, those spikes of yours have grown really dull. There's even one that's drooping. Listen, ma'am, that is what happens when you get old sometimes. <laughs> you do have to keep it young at heart, though. I can attest to this. Can we leave my hair out of this? Well, anyway, I swear that Lady Kira people have been spotting is the real deal. Besides, it's just so much more fun to believe that it's true, you know? I can't believe you really buy all that. Although, I wonder who's under that robe. I do too. The ninth newspaper, okay, May 9th, a newspaper from the morning of the purification rite. It reports on Lady Kira's activities, among other things. All right. But Mr. Wright, she's the talk of the town. She even gave me this great new food idea. It's gonna be like a soul bun, but based on Lady Kira, I'm calling it the Kira bun. Talk about a Kira business strategy. 
Hey, it might work. Come on, Maya. Just admit it to you, running around dressed as Lady Kira already. Listen, Maya's got a lot of talents, but would she be able to take down thugs by herself? I don't think so. I don't even think Athena could do it. <laughs> Girl, is it you? I guess the jig is up. What? Is it really true, Miss Maya? Indeed, it is I, Lady Kira. After hundreds of years, I have returned in this lovely young lady's body. What? Oh no, he's not believing that crap, is he? Uh oh, oh no, the dog. Oh. Only a minion of the Defiant Dragons can see through my disguise. Now, feel my wrath, foul lawyer. Hiya! Ow! Mr. Wright! Are we supposed to cause all this commotion while people are playing, like praying in the background? Anyway. <laughs> Just kidding. I knew it. She's so funny. She's still a troll. I fucking love her. I mean, come on. I may be dressing up as Lady Kira for the right today, but there's no way I could ever beat up one of those rebel types. I don't know. That was a pretty solid left hook. Listen, you gotta, you gotta be able to take care of yourself. Oh, you were just trying to be funny? You really had me going there for a second. No one can be that naive, right? Listen, he's a real believer. Well, I hope you enjoy playing superhero at the right today. Ooh, when you put it that way, I'm even more hyped about it now than I was already. Oh man, I, I love that she hasn't changed. This is the best. Ooh, hello, jingle jangle. Ooh, I hear the sounds of the high priest's footsteps. I better get going. His footsteps? During the rite, he wears these really big bells on his ankles. That way I know he's coming. Pretty handy, right? Well, see you later. Bye, Maya. Oh, she looks so well. I'm so glad that she's doing good. I doubt they're actually meant to be a stop slacking warning system for you. Listen, but you would use that. Yes, anyone would take advantage of that. Miss Maya is always so bright and cheerful. She sure is. Yeah, I'm glad to see she hasn't changed. As in, at all. I wonder if this means her training's been all for naught. Well, I hope not. No, surely she was taking it seriously. She does. Ah, it's Acolyte Zealot. Acolyte Zealot? Oh, like Zealot? I get it. Oh, it's Aang. <laughs> hey, hey, dude, what's up? Uh, it, it looks like him, kinda. Look, he's the one praying in the red and saffron robe. He's a disciple of the high priest, Abbot Inmi, and lives and trains at his house. See how he prays in the cold without moving a muscle? Yeah, I could never do that. Uh, it's Abbot Inmi. The purification rite is about to begin. Abbot Inmi? Am I stupid? I don't have it. Oh, look at Maya. She looks so pretty. So that's the sacred robe Maya will be wearing during the rite? It looks almost exactly like what that figure in the newspaper photo was wearing. Yeah, it sure does. Whoever it is must have worked really hard to copy it. Please, sir. It's not a good idea to stare like that. You could be struck blind. Just give me a few more seconds. I mean, this isn't something you see every day. Oh, those bells on the high priest's ankles. They're a lot bigger than I thought they'd be. Damn, those are huge. Right, it's time to enter the prayer pose like everyone else. Oh, don't split your pants, Phoenix. You got a suit on still. Those who don't will suffer the wrath of the Holy Mother. Well, we wouldn't want to do that now, would we? Okay, let's see. First I kneel down and cross my ankles, and then I bow forward. Ow! Not great. Now all I can see is the ground, and my back is killing me. You really should have trained for this, sir. Wait a sec. How long are we supposed to stay like this, Albie? All the right requires that we stay like this until the day after tomorrow. What? That's two whole days! I don't feel so... <laughs> Wait, what? I'm sorry, but in my headset, that sounded definitely like he pooped. <laughs> I'm sure it was supposed to mean that he went fell to the ground? That is not what I heard, though. Mr. Wright, are you okay? Did you just shit your pants, boy? Somebody help! Oh no, Phoenix, you just fuck up the right for everybody. Good fucking job, dude. You can't take you anywhere. Mr. Right? Right? Mr. Right? Please, you have to get up. Oh shit, where are we? Uh, oh, my aching. Uh huh? Albie? Where are we? The high priest's house at the foot of the Plaza of Devotion. Oh, nice TV. Guess I passed out from that back pain. Oh no, Phoenix. 
They must have carried me all the way here. Oh no, I hope we didn't cause them trouble. Something terrible's happened. It's Miss Maya. She's, she's, oh, just follow me to the Palazzo of Devotion. Oh no, what happened? I, listen, I was out for two seconds and something's already happened. Something must have happened while I was passed out. Miss Maya's, she's been arrested. <sighs> Man. Can any woman in my in the vicinity of these games that is close to us can can everyone just calm down and not get arrested for once? Is it possible? Oh well, here we go again. It's just like old times, isn't it, Maya? What? I guess this is our great reunion. What did she do? Man, all the women in Phoenix and Apollo's life just whoop, can't do nothing about it. It's just the way it is. All right, here we are. Hello? Everyone's still here. <sighs> Where's Maya? Take it easy, all right. But I'm telling you, I, I haven't done anything wrong. <laughs> you can talk all you want back at the station. Let me go! Maya! Nick, I didn't kill him! I swear I didn't! Quiet, you. Come along peacefully or suffer the consequences. Wait a second. What on earth is going on? I don't know who you are, but if you don't get out of my way... Hey, back off, officer. Oh, and, oh <laughs> Emma! How did you get here? What the frick? Emma? Emma Sky? What's she doing in Kurain? I'm so sorry, Mr. Wright, but we're placing Maya under arrest. Why? All right, take her down to the station, but with respect, got it? Yes, ma'am. Nick! Emma, how the hell do you keep coming up in all these situations, girl? Boy, that's the second right lady that you've seen. Well, I mean, she's, she's a right lady in theory. You know what I mean, because it's Maya. That's the second right lady that you've seen get accosted in the last, what, two weeks? What are you doing in Kurain, Emma? Oh, it's a long story. Anyway, what are you doing in Kurain, Mr. Wright? Same here. It's a long story, but we can get caught up later. Right now, I need to know what happened. Maya's, well, under arrest for the murder of the high priest. They were just standing together a moment ago, weren't they? Wait, the high priest was murdered? No, Dalsim, say it ain't so. Oh, Jesus Christ, okay. Well, <laughs> it's time to ask the important thing. What happened? What happened, Emma? Please, tell me everything you can. Well, basically there was a murder during the rite as it was being performed last night. The victim is Tarist and me. Oh, trust in me. The high priest who is presiding over the rite. Wait, hold on. Last night? You mean to tell me an entire day's passed since the purification rite? You've been out that long, Phoenix? That's right, sir. You passed out for a whole day from your back pain. I never knew my back's like a ticking time bomb. I better take care of it. Emma, what you got? Oh, well, I'm glad she's back to help. The murder took place at the inner sanctum where the rite was being held. The inner sanctum? All the way up there. It's in the place where the spirit of Lady Kira is enshrined. It's through that gate up there and up at the top of the mountain stairs just beyond. Right, okay. Oh, so that's why everyone's offering their prayers in that direction. That makes sense. Abbot and me and Miss Maya went up to the inner sanctum to begin the rite. Just after they finished the prayer, you fainted in the middle of. So, who do you think killed the high priest? Unfortunately, Maya's our sole suspect right now. During the rite, the inner sanctum was off limits to the general public. So then only the high priest and Maya could have been there when the murder occurred? Right. Plus, the inner sanctum's on the side of a very steep mountain. The only way up there is the stairway that starts here at the Plaza of Devotion. So that's why she's been arrested. Also, the crime scene was only discovered after Maya came down alone. She's the one who told the worshippers in the plaza that the high priest was dead. And she made a police statement to that effect. So she was the first one to discover the body. Well, that definitely doesn't help. 
makes it even less likely that someone else was there at the crime scene. What do we do? Mr. Wright, sir, are you going to defend Miss Maya? Well, I have to, of course. Yes, of course. There's no way she killed anyone. Yeah, I don't believe it either. She's been framed. But this is really something else, huh? I, I mean, who'd have thought that you'd have to take on that horrible court again? Yeah, gosh, I wonder if it'll be any different, though, now that he's kind of... Have we earned any respect in the court? Probably not. And who's going to be the prosecutor this time? It surely can't be Payne again. Tell me about it. I never thought I'd have to go through another trial. Where the divination seance determines all and defense lawyers are unwelcome. Maybe the judge will be nice to us. I mean, he did seem to like us a little bit, you know, at the end. So maybe, maybe we have a chance. I don't know. What brings you here, Emma? Back in the U.S., I was working a case with an international prosecutor from Kurain. Uh-oh. He told me that this is where I could see the latest techniques in international forensic science. Here? Here. Okay. I can't believe I fell for it. I mean, look at this place. We've gone back in time. Yeah, I think you were duped. I think he was trying to get you out of his hair. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I can't say I've been impressed with the police work I've seen so far. Nope. Still, he said he takes on cases from around the world. So maybe next time he'll have one in a major city somewhere. Sounds like this prosecutor's taken a liking to you. After all, it's not every day a prosecutor takes a detective with them overseas. I wonder. He's calm and kind and almost always has a smile on his face. He's here, isn't he? Oh. Well, time to see what Phoenix thinks of him, I guess, and how he deals with him. It's hard to tell what he's really thinking. This international prosecutor, is he the one who handled Trucy's case? <gasps> yes, he is. I take it he'll be the prosecutor on this one, too. Yes. Prosecutor Sadmati's already been assigned. Oh, great. Prosecutor Sadmati? Pokunka! You know him? Of course. Everyone in Kurain does. He's a highly revered individual, both as a prosecutor and a monk. You go up against Prosecutor Sadmati, you'll incur the Holy Mother's wrath. Don't worry about it. If Apollo made it, so can I. But it's my job, too, as a lawyer. Oh, right, sorry. Just great. A prosecutor who's also a revered monk in a deeply religious country? Yeah, how could that go wrong? This trial's shaping up to be even more uniquely Kuranese than the last one. Can't wait for that. I'm not sure I should be saying this, but he is a formidable opponent. Yeah, I heard Apollo had a really tough time, so I'd better give it everything I've got. Anyway... I'm glad you're here, Emma. I am too. I'm really glad to see her. I like her so much. She doesn't get enough time. They treat lawyers like criminals here. Come to think of it, Prosecutor Sadmati mentioned something to that effect. I'm not sure how much I can help, but I'll do what I can. Really? Are you sure you aren't going to get in trouble for helping the enemy? Um... Well, he did come down on me pretty hard when I tried to help Trucy in the last trial. Okay, Emma. I'll protect you as much as I can. But I don't want you to risk your job. Let's just say I'll help where I can. Thanks. But don't go getting yourself in trouble on my account, okay? Prosecutor Sadmati sounds pretty strict. So, for things first, let's start with this. Oh, is that the autopsy report? Thank you, darling. Hot off the press, it's the High Priest's autopsy report. Taros's autopsy report added to the court record, cause of death was blood loss from an abdominal wound delivered by a bladed weapon. Sheesh, okay. The victim bled to death from a deep stab wound to the abdomen. The murder weapon is believed to be Lady Kira's Warbad dagger. I hope I said that right. It's used during the rite. However, the dagger has yet to be found. Lady Kira's dagger, huh? I think Maya mentioned something about a dagger. She did. Who wouldn't want to be a kick-butt warrior who takes on an evil- who takes on evil with a wicked dagger? Right. Whatever floats your boat. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Hmm. It just looks bad for her all around, doesn't it? And there was a dagger in this picture, too. And isn't that rebel hunter posing as Lady Kira also armed with a dagger? Well, of course. Hers must be a replica, right? Hmm, maybe. Maybe not. 
Would it be okay for me to go take a look at the crime scene, Emma? Well, the police have already wrapped up their investigation, but the location itself is off limits to the public, so I'm not sure. Emma, please. I'm begging you. Just like the police, I need access if I'm to mount a viable defense. Hit <laughs> it, mount. All right. Leave it to me. Good job, Emma. Oh, of course she's on the case. She's always so helpful. I'll explain the situation to Prosecutor Sadmati and the police later. Thanks, Emma. You have quite a climb ahead of you, so be sure to watch your step. Watch your back, too, Phoenix. Wait, you're not coming with me? Oh, no, I'm not climbing up there again. No way. Is it really that bad? I wonder if my back can handle it. I know. We're gonna need some Sherpas or something. You get to go to the Inner Sanctum? You're so lucky, Mr. Wright. Why don't you join me, Albie? <sighs> Uh, that's crazy talk! If a commoner like myself were to set foot in there, I'd surely be cursed for all eternity! Because the inner sanctum's off limits for you, huh? Oh well, guess I'll just have to face this all by my lonesome. Damn it! By the way, what about all the people still praying here? Aren't they going to go home? The customs of this rite require that they not move from the spot until tomorrow afternoon. It doesn't faze them to have police milling around. Some of them are even off-duty cops. Wow, I guess this is what it's like to live in a deeply religious society, huh? Sure is. Oh shit, well, <laughs> this is the worst place ever. <laughs> like, can we just agree that we'll never come in here again after this, hopefully? I mean, this is just a cursed place. In the next one, we'll figure out what the hell is going on and figure out if we can go talk to Maya and just get to the bottom of this. I'm not surprised by this, but also, man, we didn't even have a chance to reunite or anything. Go out to dinner, hang out a little bit, none of that. You get nothing. So, we'll figure it out. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am, and I will see you soon in the next one. Toodaloo!